Uh, okay, now it's time for the first start of the 2022 mowing season. Hey there YouTube. This is my five year later video review on this Troy built horse. And I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I've had a few maintenance issues with this, but nothing major. Uh, so I had to change the drive belt, which is standard. I had to change the mower belt, which wears, so it's two things in five years. And then one time I tried to start it and the motor, like the, the starting gear, was locked perfectly with the, the flywheel. And so I couldn't get it to turn over. It's such a freak occurrence, like the gears were like this. And so I was turning the key and it was just going bang, like it was seized. And I couldn't get it to spin by hand. I'm like, okay. So I took a wrench and I stuck a wrench on that sucker and I cranked the the motor a little bit. Uh, I think I googled what way the, ro the motor rotated at the time, but um, that a little bit of a turn and then I turned the key and it started just fine and that was like two years ago and I haven't had a problem since. So I made a little modification here with a bungee so I could hold that flap up for storage. Um, I've changed the oil in this Kohler Courage two times since I bought it. I did use a synthetic. About a year ago, I took off this cover and checked the, the, the bolts on the, the bucket that they call they call it, like the head, is where they're all tight to the torque spec. Um, just because I've heard stories about those bolts coming loose and then this thing coming apart or cracking in half, and I didn't want that to happen, so that took 15 minutes maybe. Uh, not too bad at all, just need a torque wrench. So after the first start fiasco, uh, you might be wondering why it didn't start, and that's because this battery is from when I bought it in 2018. And so this battery, even though it's reading 12.7 volts, uh, it's hit and it's not providing enough juice. So I have to spend 30 bucks on a new battery. I do keep this in a warm house all winter, and every month I throw it on a normal 2 amp charger to top it off. Um, it's lasted five years, so that's not too bad. So, this is for my own reference, so when I go to the store, I know what kind of battery to buy. And I did get this at Lowe's. And uh, there's the information, if you care. So, the cup holder, I have used it. Uh, <laughs> can't really put too many things in there, unless you want them shaking the crap and get grass in them. So, I usually just use a cup with a um, pop top, so that I don't get stuff in my drink. I just noticed that there's an amp meter on this. I have never looked at that. <laughs> I do use the cubby though. I do throw stuff in there. All the cables for like the brake pedal, parking brake work. So I didn't have to do anything with that. All the tires are original. I do store this in a shed, so it's not, chickens go away, shoot. Uh, so it's not getting toasted by the sun. Oh, there's the engine information if you want that. Yeah, I, I should change this oil sometime. <laughs> uh, what else did I do? Oh, so last year when I didn't realize how important a drive belt was, I did suck out all the hydraulic fluid from the hydrostatic gear and uh, put new fluid in. So that's like a maintenance item I did. Forgot about that. But and then it turned out not to be the fluid, it was the drive belt. <laughs> I thought the drive belt had enough tension. The mower didn't think so. So, new drive belt goes faster than ever now. I should probably grease those zerk fittings. Um, every year I put stable mobile 360 in the gas at the end of the year and I haven't had any problems with the carb. I really hate taking this deck off to change the blades so I usually just jack it up in the air and put a board in it and then hit it with an impact. I really really hate changing blades on mowers. Um, let me show you a picture of what the blades looked like when I last took them off. Here's a photo.
So yeah, they were chewed up. Got new ones. Let's see. Yeah, they're they're new last year, so they cut pretty good. Okay, so now that that's clean. Wanted to show you all the pulleys and such. Everything's original. Haven't had to replace any of that. I did have to adjust a spring. I don't remember where that spring was. I think it was that spring. Because I wasn't keeping enough tension on the belt for the mower blades. So it was like squealing when I got into tall grass. So I had to shorten that spring up a little bit. It made it a little, a little tighter. I'll put the video that I followed for that procedure in the description because the guy helped me. So. So uh, what I recommend it again, um, you know, to be honest, with two acres, I probably should have bought a zero turn. Um, I've used it as a lawn tractor to like haul, cut up trees and stuff, but zero turns have hitches on them too. I actually use this lawn tender cart that's being a temporary storage for my push mower, um, but it pulls this around just fine. But I think a zero turn might have been a better purchase for two acres since I don't really enjoy mowing. So I'm too cheap to pay someone, so there's that. So I paid 1200 bucks, I think, or I think I put it in the video, whatever I paid for it. Um, and uh, yeah, time to replace that battery. Feel free to post comments or questions in the comments, and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.